Welcome back to yet another episode. So a subscriber had mentioned something uh, in regards to my last video. I did try to go back to find that specific comment. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find it. I wanted to give credit where it's due, but they brought up a very good point that I had totally missed is that, and that is the fact that the firmware 1.80 on the Pentax K3 Mark III has a licensing agreement for open source software. Now, if you're not aware of what open, soft, open source software is, open source software is basically a free to use. Uh, a lot of them, it's whether it's commercial or personal, uh, the software is free. You can manipulate the code uh, in regards to how you wanna modify the software for your own purposes. As long as you supply the licensing agreement, that's the one thing that can never change. It's not like Microsoft where, or Apple where it's, you know, a proprietary system that you cannot change or modify because it's against the law. Open source software, you're free to utilize it however many times you want, distribute it. You can't sell it, uh, but you can repackage it as you want. And that's basically what open source software is. It's a completely open environment that you can just do with whatever you want. So the 1.80 firmware on the K3 Mark III has open source software. Now, I always go through this whole rabbit hole thing and I did some more searching and the other part of this is that it also has software that is known as uh, ZXING. So I looked into what that is and it's known as zebra crossing. It's nothing to do with animals or subject tracking for zebras. Uh, but it is a software that recognizes QR codes and barcodes. Quite interesting. So what exactly are they doing? Like why would a firmware require barcode reading? The only thing I could think of uh, in regards to the open source software, which is OpenSSL, which is known as uh, Open Secure Sockets Layer, which is a transportation protocol for security and encryption on uh, internet based systems. So a website and a server or an email and server, any cross uh, you know, crossing data through the internet or a wireless network or anything like that, or any type of network, basically, uh, you know, it's encrypted so that it cannot be pulled out and read readily. Um, you know, we use it all the time, believe it or not, when you go to a website and it's HTTPS, it's generally using OpenSSL or the new version, which is TLS, which is transport sockets layer. But anyway, that's all technical stuff. So they're encrypting data, which I'm assuming is between uh, Pentax Image Sync and the K3 Mark III in regards to Wi-Fi. Uh, now, the only part that is still a mystery is what exactly are they doing for this whole barcode thing? Is there going to be a new update for Image Sync where uh, you know maybe the camera will illustrate a barcode and you can just show image sync take the picture it'll automatically connect to wi-fi that way to the camera instead of you having to go through various menus on both your mobile device and the camera to activate wi-fi and uh, get the wi-fi password and things like that who knows but i did do a bit more searching and i uh, actually found out that this is not the first time this has happened what yeah, the only difference is uh, in the previous versions, they did not state that there's open uh, source software being used at all. So 1.60 firmware, 1.70 firmware, and now 1.80 firmware, they all utilize the open SSL. Uh, yeah. So I just thought this was uh, something interesting for some tech people in uh, the Pentaxian world. Uh, you know, you may want to figure out, you know, what your thoughts are or whatnot. Or not figure out what your thoughts are, but just some a tidbit of information that you may think is interesting. And I am curious, what are your thoughts? What 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 is the possibility in regards to implementation that Pentax would actually require both open... SSL as well as a barcode and QR code generated or uh, generating software to recognize uh, you know those attributes so yeah what are your thoughts leave your thoughts down below and uh, you'll see me on my next video
I'm out.